A night of gun violence in Peekskill is causing many residents to fear for their own safety as police try to find the gunman who shot and wounded two women as they sat in their vehicle on Friday night. News 12's Carol Wilkinson has the latest. Police in Peekskill searching for clues Friday night after a gunman opens fire on two women in a vehicle traveling east on Main Street. Both women reportedly hospitalized in stable condition. There's no official word on a motive, but that's of little comfort to Peekskill resident Vinette Smith. I'm afraid to just walk in the, on a garage or even on the street. Investigators say the bullets started flying when a man walked up to the women's car at around 9.15 Friday night and started shooting, hitting one victim in the stomach, the other in the leg. It's getting, getting worse because they don't have a hand on it. Randy Sharp has lived in this city his entire life, but is now afraid to let down his guard. I don't want to leave my house. I don't. I don't want to leave my apartment. You know, I, I don't go out no more. I don't go out to eat no more. I don't go to big functions. It's, it's rough. It really is. Meanwhile, both detectives and neighbors are asking for the public's help with information that will solve this case. This is not a black or white thing. It's about people. It's about individuals, or rather they be young or old and you don't want anybody to die. Now, police tell us the trigger man in last night's shootings got away on foot. So far, no arrests have been made. In Peekskill, Carol Wilkinson, News 12.